idea behind the use case that I want to speak about today is the following. Salesforce user management deals with internal and external employees who are leaving the organization in the following way. Go to user management and click on the specific user that left. You are not deleting the user, rather you are actually making the user inactive. When a user becomes inactive, they can no longer log in to Salesforce and cannot work within the system. However, there are many milestones that the admin needs to pass before deactivating the user. One of the most important things that the username is used for within Salesforce is email alerts. The recipient can be an inactive user. For example, dashboards can be run and executed. Inactive users can still be assigned in the lead or case assignment rules. Approval processes can be assigned to the users who already are inactive. It's amazing that today, when you make a user inactive, it is impossible to know where this user is used if the admin did not mention all referenced components in the documentation, such as the Salesforce workbook. So there are many use cases that actually users are becoming connected. However, the reference to them still exists in many components and it actually results in a lot of issues like approvals are going to a person who cannot approve it, emails are sent to a person who is not receiving them because their mailbox is already deactivated, etc. So let's see how Panaya can help us here. Let's imagine that we have two users as shown here. Copy the first username. We would like to search for this username in Panaya. Click the search for text button and search for this user and see what components this user can be referenced. Paste it here to look for it. We can already see that this user is used in all these assignment rules. So the first thing that I need to do, if I want to deactivate this user, is I would like to list all these rules and then perform the relevant changes before deactivating the user. We can see here the user is running two dashboards, there is an email alert, and a workflow task that is assigned to this user. We need to assign all these components to another active user before deactivating this user. We can do this by selecting it, viewing it in Salesforce to see where it is used, and then changing it in the relevant way. Now let's take a look at another user. Paste the username here to search. What we see here is actually the approval process. This is a signed approval for a large deal. So it's very important to change this before deactivating the user because it can actually stop large deals from being approved. So it's very important to go through the approval process to see all the influence, to see where everything is used, and to make the relevant changes in Salesforce, and of course, to then validate it and test it if needed. So I think this is a very interesting use case to know, to actually look for inactive users, log in and to understand where they are used, and it's better to do it before deactivating the user in order to not cause any harm.